Yeah. 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 Before we, if, if you guys want to start lining up, um, I know all, you guys all have questions, so um, you know I want to get to those because you know I don't listening to me talk is not interesting. Um, but before we we do that, uh, Ryan, can you maybe preview a little bit what we're gonna see for season two? Uh, well, interestingly enough, I think people think after their first season that we've had, which was so unexpected and nuts, people think we're gonna get bigger and bigger and try and be. Crazier. Actually, I think we're, we're doing it in a, in a different direction. And a lot of that is because of the people that you see up here. Um, I think those, the characters pop so much that, like, you know, I want to see a, a whole episode of Britney. I want to see. I want to see more about Artie and Tina. So, the second season is designed, I think, to be a little bit more intimate, and I think. It's just from feedback, really, feedback from the fans that they want more of the people that they've grown to love. Huckleberry! So yeah, I that, that's one thing we're going to do, a couple tribute episodes like we did last year. Um, and I think, I think we're probably going to do maybe five music numbers an episode on average as opposed to eight, because that got a little much. I just think people love, you know, what I found is that people love the characters so much yeah. that they wanted to spend more time with them, so we listened and that's what we're going to do. The Britney episode, are you doing a Britney Spears episode too? We're doing a Britney Spears episode called Britney Britney. <laughs> That we're doing it in a very funny way. I mean, one of my favorite things last year was Matt Morrison was asked on the red carpet and he said, I hope we're not doing Britney, or I don't want to do Britney. So the entire episode is Mr. Shu saying, I don't want to do Britney, I don't want to do Britney. <laughs> um, and the, 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 number, the way we're, the, the cast is getting this episode tomorrow, actually, it's hot off the presses. But we're doing it in a really fun, uh, hallucinogenic way. <laughs> That sounds about right. That sounds about powerful. That sounds about right for you. Um, and you guys also have the post Super Bowl slot. Um, after the Super Bowl this year, Glee will be on. Can you tease anything about what you're planning for that? Because that's a lot of eyes will be on. Glee. Well, nothing says Super Bowl to me like Glee. How <laughs> about like jazz hands and jazz hands and lies in my <laughs> uh, We're in negotiation with a, a, to do a really big tribute episode, but we haven't closed it, so I can't say. All right. Yeah, and it'll be something big. Yeah. Um, do you guys, the cast, do you guys have any songs you want to see this season? Like, is there anything you're actively campaigning to do? Like they give us songs like I never thought I'd be doing like I could Tina Turner. Like you know, you, yeah. they, you do stuff that you're like, how in the world? And then by the end of the week, you've done it, and millions of people are going to see it. So yeah. that's the fun thing. Yeah. I want to do the time warp. Someone who's in love with them, but they don't love them back. 
they're going to rightfully feel uncomfortable. So can you explain why there is no apology from Kirk to Finn for his creepy behavior? Thank you. Yeah, that was always designed as something that was going to be dealt with in many episodes, actually. So I, I'm glad that you brought that up because I wanted to talk about it. I don't look at that as creepy behavior. Um, I look at it as... Um, a character who is in search of love and makes mistakes, as we all do. Um, so, so um, but yeah, we, we are going to sort of revisit that, and we're revisiting it early on in the season. Because um, I have always loved the Michael Malley, Kurt Woo! Finn triangle, as you know, men talking about their issues. And I, and I think that one of the great joys of the show is that it gives us. Um, a platform to talk about stuff that people haven't really discussed on television, so we will be doing that. Woo!